Hi, I'm going to go over a few lunge variations. Uh, we're going to use this for uh, single leg strengthening. Um, you could use this for stabilization uh, strength in your knee. Um, and also, if you have trouble, you know, if you if you want to improve your your squats, um, if you have trouble, say, surpassing a plateau, these are these are some great exercises to use. I'm going to go over some uh, a few lunges. We're going to do a stepping lunge. Uh, we're going to do a reverse lunge, and then we're going to do a curtsy lunge. Um, all the while, I'm going to go over just a few. I'll show you. I'll show you a few to start. Let me mute this here so we can we can talk through it. Um, notice that I stand here with uh, with my hands on my hips. Uh, hands on the hips are a great starting point. That's fine. Um, I want you to try to keep your hands away from from uh, from your knee. And you may have clients that <clears throat> you may have that clients or you yourself that need um, that need to use your use your hands to get up out of the lunge. That's fine too, but we're going to progress and try to try to keep our hands here on the hips. For the stepping lunge, I'm going to step out and then back. I'll pause on the second one. I'm going to step out. Notice at the uh, at the step, I want to keep my shoulders squared away, keep my hands on my hips. This is a good indication of of like your hips are squared, and also your front foot. Why does it keep? coming up your front foot stays flat on the ground here you see that we're going to touch the back knee and proceed we're just alternating lunges here now I'm going to show you a few from the side as we pause here notice that again I touch the I touch my back knee here and my front foot is flat on the ground we look for a 90 degree angle from the shin from the front shin right to to the thigh just like that one and done more of each and notice this time right before so i'm gonna i'm gonna touch that back knee i'm gonna press away from that front heel notice how i almost dragged my heel on the way back you see that so what that's going to do for me is um as i stand as I stand by pressing away from the heel, it's going to include my posterior chain, or it's going to it's going to incorporate the posterior chain. I'm using my my butt and my hamstrings to stand up from it. This is the reverse lunge. So I'm going to take a step back, touch the knee, and back up. Reverse lunge. Take a step back, touch the knee, back up. You'll find this lunge a little harder than the stepping version, or the, the forward stepping version. There you go. And I'm going to show you a few from the side here. As I step back in the exact same position I would be in for the leg out front. As I stay in the heel and the front foot. Right there. Good. And now this is going to be a, that's going to be the, the second, you know, that, that'd be the step up from the first lunge. The third lunge is going to be a curtsy lunge. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my back knee behind and to the side of that, that front foot. Right there just like that okay that was a little mess up here um, I'm gonna forward through it um, notice, and and even like I mean everybody 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 messes up here um, I'll, just, I'll, I'll show a blooper outtake for you just just for some humility right there <laughs> okay good all right all serious now here we go right there one two Switch to the other side. One, two. As I land on the toe in the back, I'm gonna stay on my toes out back, just like that. One, two. Nice. There you go. All right. Now from the back, this is gonna be a good angle here for you to see that right there see how far back that far back into the side i place that knee fantastic great for single leg strength and hip stability nice there you go good all right guys um take this hopefully it's uh hopefully it's useful if you have any questions please email me at david at factionsc.com and i'll see you in the gym